So next, uh, we have the posterior muscle group, all right? So first off, we have the gastrocnemius. We have a medial and a lateral head to the gastrocnemius, all right? Most people aren't aware of this, but the gastrocnemius actually originates above the, uh, the knee joint. So because of the fact that it crosses the back of the knee, it's also, it's also gonna help us flex our knee. So it's, the gastrocnemius plays some role in knee flexion, but it's primarily going to be a plantar flexor when we go ahead and do like a calf raise or point our foot down. The other muscle that's going to help us is, uh, to help us plantar flex is the soleus. So the soleus is this broader, flatter muscle down here. All right, so this is the soleus. And the soleus also does plantar flexion, but more so when our knee is in a bent position as if we were seated. And then the last muscle that we're gonna talk about here in the posterior compartment is the plantaris. Plantaris, we can't see, it's deep to all this muscle mass that we see here. Um, it's also gonna help us with plantar flexion, but to a very small degree. All three of these muscles come down and merge together at the Achilles tendon, and thus therefore attaching to the calcaneus. And again, the posterior muscle group is gonna help us do plantar flexion at the ankle. The Strength Coach Tutor, offering individualized tutoring and a Google Classroom to help you best prepare for your NSCA CSCS exam.